morning, everyone. I want to talk to you today about Tai Chi walking meditation. I'm here today at Dharma Cloud Monastery where I teach Tai Chi. And we do walking meditation here. And uh, it's, it's um, a walking meditation is a practice um, in the Plum Village tradition that was taught by Thich Nhat Hanh. And it basically involves walking very mindfully, step by step, paying it, being very aware of your walk, your surroundings, um, making each step count with intent and purpose when you walk, um, being mindful of your surroundings, of your thoughts, your emotions, and pay, paying close attention to them while you're walking. This is a, a natural walking meditation that we do here at Dharma Cloud Monastery. But what I want to show you today is Tai Chi walking because it's slightly different than the uh, walking meditation that we do here. Uh, tai Chi walking meditation is uh, done in conjunction with the breath it's a very simple walking meditation and very easy to do and very convenient to do because you can practice it at home. You can even practice it at work, walking up and down the hallways at work or wherever you know you have your t find time alone and you have a space that you can walk. Um, usually there's a hallway at home that you can walk down. And so I just want to show you a little bit what this practice is so that you can practice it on your own. Um, and then I'll go into further walking practices with other um, Tai Chi moves uh, in the future. But the basic move is the Tai Chi walking meditation. So I'm just going to show it to you right now so you can see it. And then I will explain um, the walking meditation step by step after I show it to you. So. So that is um, Tai Chi walking meditation. It's a very simple walking meditation. And so if you'll follow along with me now, um, again, the first thing you want to do is um, start off comfortable posture, feet shoulder width apart. And you start off, if you can see my feet, you start off leaning to your left side in this instance, and just stepping out with your right foot on a 45 degree angle, kind of like a half step. And what you do next is you pivot, shift your weight to the front foot. So now you've got like 70% of your weight on your front foot. At this point, with the weight on your front foot, you can pick up your left foot slowly and then step out on the left heel. 
heel goes down as the heel, I mean, as the foot goes down. Then you pivot forward, shift your weight forward till your weight is like 90% um, on the front leg. You don't want the knee to go past your toe. You want to be able to see your toe when you're looking down at your foot. So when your shift, your weight is now on shifted to the uh, front leg. Now shift the weight back, pick up your left foot, shift it on a 45. That allows you to shift the weight as you move forward and you pick up the right foot, step, heel first, toe comes down, and the weight shifts forward. Okay, trying that again. Shifting your weight to the left side, step out with the right foot on a 45 degree angle. Shift the weight to the front foot, about 80, 20, 70, 30. When your weight's on the front, pick up the left foot, step out with the right heel, pivot your, shift your weight forwards. Shift your weight back, picking up the left foot now on a 45 degree. Shifting your weight forward, which allows you to pick up your right foot, step, right heel, and shift your weight forward. Shifting your weight back, picking up the right foot, 45 degree, allows you to move your weight forward, picking up the left foot, slowly stepping, heel down, and shifting forward. Now, the breathing with this is shift your weight, right? Going forward, you exhale forward. Inhale back, pick up the left foot, pivot on a 45, and exhaling forward, inhaling back, pick up the left foot on 45, exhaling forward, pick back, inhaling back, moving forward, exhaling forward, exhaling forward, inhaling back. So that's, that is the Tai Chi walking meditation. And it's very good for your balance because what's really interesting when you're practicing this is when you're doing your step, pivoting to the left, stepping out just one step on a 45 with your right foot, and you step with your left foot going out, exhaling, pivoting forward, coming back, shifting your left, foot on a 45. Now it's at this point, this transition point, where it's very good for your balance, especially going this slowly. It's a very good practice for developing your balance um, and um, improving your flexibility because as you're going forward, this is very tricky because you're doing it very slowly and it takes a lot of balance to be able to do that. Pivoting your weight forward, coming back, lifting up the right foot, sh and shifting it on a 45. And then here is the transition again. As you're stepping, this is where the weight transfer gets, the balance gets a little tricky, and especially going this slow, and then going forward. And you want to do, you want to do this Tai Chi meditation walking slowly. You don't want to do it fast. You want to do it very slowly with your breathing, paying attention to your breathing and paying attention to, um, to your body awareness, the body sensations, everything that's going on around you, and at the same time maintaining your balance and um, doing this all at once. And so it's a great practice to do, especially um, after you've done some of this the standing practices that I have taught previously um, and the, um, the movements from side to side 
this is good to do to practice um, after that because it's a nice change up. So, and plus there's other moves that I will show you that you can do in this walking movement. So, um, try to follow me one more time at this speed. So, um, if you have trouble um, when you're practicing it this slowly with your breathing, just breathe naturally until you can find a natural um, sink where you're um, exhaling, moving forward, inhaling, moving back. Um, while you're learning it, it's best um, just to breathe naturally and just get the movement down so that uh, you can practice that. Um, but around that speed is a good speed. Um, you can do it maybe a little faster or a li even a little slower if you really want to test your balance. If you practice a little slower, then um, it's best to breathe naturally because uh, you won't have enough breath to go through. So um, it's an excellent practice for your balance. It's an excellent walking meditation. Um, and it's a good adjunct to your Tai Chi practice. Um, doing the form and uh, doing some of the standing movements that I've shown previously. So, um, and walking meditation is a good thing to practice all the time um, because you can practice wherever you go, walking to your car, walking to the office. It doesn't necessarily have to be Tai Chi walking because people might tend to look at you a little funny when you're doing Tai Chi walking, although one of my students <laughs> would practice Tai Chi walking where she worked, even though people would give her funny looks at times because she really enjoyed it and uh, really helped her with her balance. She noticed her balance really improved after practicing this. Um, very good for seniors, so you develop balance so you don't fall. And developing your balance will keep you from falling. and It's one of the biggest problems um, when you're getting older as, um, uh, is falling and, and injuring yourself. So, but the walking meditation that we practice here is also a good practice to do. And with that practice, all you're doing um, is just walking about this speed. It's just a natural walk, but while you're walking, you pay attention to your breathing, your surroundings. And we'll walk um, here at the, the monastery, we'll, we'll walk around the temple room and, and occasionally, and we'll also walk on the temple grounds up to the Buddha statue. Um, you're very welcome to come here and, and 
uh, to one of our practices on uh, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday Sangha, or coming to our uh, first and third uh, Saturdays uh, from 9.30 to 4 o'clock, where we do walking meditation, Dharma talks, sitting meditation, and uh, other practices. So um, I wanted to share that with you today. Uh, any question, please uh, leave me a note below in the form. Um, Thank you for walking. And one of the things that Thich Nhat Hanh said is, when you're walking, it is like you're planting a seed, and that little seed turns into a flower. So with every step, you imagine yourself making a flower to the earth, making your imprint. How is your imprint onto this earth? So leave you with that contemplation. Thank you for watching again, and may the fruits of your practice bring you happiness, peace, well-being, and harmony.